VT Limited forfeited 200 shares of 10 each issued at a premium of 5 per share held by a Mohan for non-payment of the final call of rupees 3 per share. 100 out of these shares were reissued to Narendra at a discount of rupees 4 per share journalized. In the books of VT Limited, Working notes, note 1, distribution of amount and number of instruments, application etc. rupees 7, third and final call rupees 3, 200 shares held by Mr. Mohan failed to pay final call and the share value is rupees 10 and number of shares forfeited 200, number of shares reissued to Narendra. 100. Now your journal entries before that partial reissue capital reserve. Note to amount of a capital reserve in case of partial reissue. Amount forfeited by into by number of shares forfeited into number of shares reissued minus discount on reissue. That is rupees 1400 by rupees 200. Not 200. How come 1400? 200 shares forfeited rupees 7 on application etc. that is rupees 1400. Amount forfeited 1400 by number of shares forfeited 200 into number of shares reissued is 100 minus discount on reissue 100 shares at the rate of rupees 4 per share that is 400. That is equal to this 700 minus 400 is equal to rupees 300. And here Next line, this is over, this is capital reserve is 300. Then next one being the fair notes, journal entries of VT limited, share capital account debited, 200 into 10, fully called up. This shares has been fully called up, 200 into 10 that is rupees 2000, to forfeited shares account that is 200 into 7. Here, Mr. Mohan has paid application etc. rupees 7. That is 200 into 7, 1400. To share third and final call account, Mohan failed to pay the final call money of rupees 3 per share. That is 200 into 3, that is equal to rupees 600. Next one being, narration being, being 200 shares forfeited due to non-payment of a third and final call, call money of a rupees 3 per share. Next one being bank account debited that is 100 into 6 rupees 600. Forfeited shares account debit that is 100 into 4 that is 400. To share capital account that is 100 into 10 that is rupees 1000 in the credit side being 100 shares issued at the rate of rupees 10 per share, rupees 6 paid off. Then next one being good journal entries of VT limited. This is, hello, this is a case of a partial reissue. We reissued uh, this uh, 100 shares at the rate of rupees 6. That is 600 for picture is rupees 100 into 6 for 400 discount and issue to share capital 100 into 10 fully called up. Being 100 shares issued at the rate of 10 per share rupees 6 called up. Then third entry forfeited shares account debited to capital reserve account being profit on for picture and partial ratio of shares transfer to capital reserve account. Here in the note 2 you see amount forfeited by number of shares forfeited into number of shares reissued minus discount on reissue. That is rupees 1400 upon 200 into 100 minus rupees 400 that is equal to rupees 300. Both in the debit and credit columns and journals are always to be totaled that is total is rupees 3300 both in debit and credit side. Next one is, this is fine, this should be, journal is always total and this is the final answer.